Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is CKT Chaotic. Today I'll be reading Midnight Populand episode 15 to 16. Guys, I am on the path of gaining hopefully 10,000 subscribers by the end of 2024. It's currently like what, April right now? <laughs> Um, if you guys can, please feel free to subscribe, share, like this video, and of course, leave a comment. But let's go ahead and get started. Okay, what's going on here? The Black Swan Bistro and Bar. I came across this place once when I was doing some online research for work. Oh, what is she wearing? I didn't pay much attention to it, and I just brushed it aside as another one of the Nar Naran City upmarket restaurants. I had to pause and like figure out how to pronounce the word correctly. Is it Narin? Narin? Or Niren? I feel like Naren sounds very American, you know, but Narin sounds very Japanese. I don't know if you guys. Feel free to help me out <laughs> in the comment section on how to pronounce it correctly. Narin or Naren? Naren. You know, it doesn't sound very pretty. But this place is even grander than I thought. Oh my gosh, it's like a very high-end place. And she's wearing a shirt with words on it as if my nerves weren't already shot from having to meet him now i'm sticking out from the crowd like my life depends on it i was so exhausted from today i just grabbed whatever clean clothes i could find i just hope erdine is right about him but Maybe he didn't spend his, enti his entire afternoon chasing down- wait, but didn't he spend his entire afternoon chasing down Mr. Lamb for you? Or at least that he's genuinely trying to help. Whatever it is, I need to see Mr. Lamb again for the presentation. So I'll focus on getting hold, getting hold of more info on Mr. Lamb from him tonight. Tora, I'll see you there. Nine fifty six. Ding. Hey, I'm right outside the building. Are you there yet? I'm hope it's okay that I'm dressed completely down. You're not in some kind of formal shirt and pants, right? Uh, kind of formal shirt and pants. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Everyone's judging her. <gasps> oh. Hey, big bro. You guess not here yet? No. Gotcha. I'll get you a drink while you wait. Hold it. Huh? Yeah, big bro? You? Jesus freaking Christ, how many restaurants do you work at? I'm just a lowly uh, plebeian, not a high-ranking clan member like you. Gotta make ends meet, big bro. I know that, but isn't the clan paying you enough? There's too much money to be made, said no one ever. What are you doing? No touching my art stuff. Leave it alone. Yes, my see my dog. There she is. Mm-hmm. She's biting my scrapbook stuff. Anyway, what about the steaks you ordered? That crap is excellent, big bro. If you're leaving now, can we have them? Yeah, have at it. Just put everything on my tab. You're the best. BTW, big bro, your hat looks badass as hell. Can I borrow it when you're not using... No. You freeloaders need to get your own freaking hats. And it's a one... Wearing it, that makes it look badass. Get it straight. Ugh. I was just asking, why is he so mean mad? Look, you. I gotta go. 
Fine, fine. Don't let me hold you up. I was actually gonna ask where you, where do your ink touch ups? Uh, how you get them looking so vibrant? I don't. Thank you. Any one of you got something in my size? Get your, get your own one, you freeloader. I'll pay you for it. <laughs> he tried to get back at Tor for saying that. <laughs> get your own, you freeloader. He hasn't gone back yet. Darn it. If there's a dress code for this place, I might not be allowed. But there's no point standing around here waiting either. Looks like I have to... Looks like I'll have to... I'm going to make my own... Wait inside. My, wait. Oh my gosh, hold on. Let me reread that. Looks like I'll have to. I'm going to make my way inside and hope they'll let me in. Bzzzt. Finally. Tora. Cross the street on your right. Turn left into the back alley. First door on the left. It'll be open when you get there. I'll be there in 10 minutes. That's weird. Did he change his mind? But what kind of place is that? But don't. One more left to try on. It's the largest one we- oh, one more left to try on. It's the largest one we got, big bro. It's already an XL size. Locker room. Any bigger and it'll have to be Parker's. But, and trust me, you don't want to go there. Dude is gross as hell. Doesn't shower for weeks. Ugh. Say, how long did it take you to get this ripped? When did you start working out anyway? When when you were still playing in the set in your sand pit? God damn it! Freaking <laughs> he's cussing. Come on, you're not that much older than me. You're only like what twenty six this year. That would mean you were only thirteen years old or something. <laughs> oh for fu freak's sake, big bro! I'll help you with that zipper. <laughs> Anyway, why do you need to cover up your ink? You're not working right now, are you? Oh, I know. Are you meeting that cutie pie you wanted me to ID for you? What? You found her already? Why don't you tell me? I've been working around the clock trying to hack into the system for you. After my restaurant shifts are over, of course. <laughs> I just noticed his tattoos. He has such weird tattoos. <laughs> There's still info about her that I need to find out. What I suspect is that she has something that everyone is after, including the big boss. And Vincent and his men are trying to get in themselves involved. And I'm guessing the girl's just a civilian. Not from our world, so I don't want to take any chances on this. What? What? For, for real? I understand. Her secret's safe with me. Update me again. Big bro. I owe my life to you and young Master Quincy. I'll never forget that. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what y'all had to do because of me. I'm so sorry. Why is it crying so hard? And he's tearing up. Let it go, Ronzo. It's all in the past now. Stop calling me Ronzo, god damn it. Big bro, how do you let you go of something? When you're reliving it every single day in your head. I wish I could tell you how, Ronzo. I'm searching for an answer myself. Maybe that's just how it is for people like us. When we all, when all we can do I just stumble through the dark, wondering if we'll get to see the light one day. I 
I have so much to say, but I'll say it after the next episode. It's... Uh, oh, hold on. Let me see if I can move this a little bit lower. Okay. It's a fake tree. I know that. I was just pretending. Could have fooled me. Well, fine. I thought it was real at first. And then I realized that it wasn't. But I just pretended that it was. I have a small... I have a sense of smell, you know? I can smell things. <laughs> just like how I could smell your jacket. Your jacket. Your jackfruit! <laughs> well, this is, is the place, isn't it? Took me a while to find it, too. I'll go check for it. I'll go check it out first. See you inside. So, <laughs> she's so awkward. Crap, crap, crap. <laughs> but don't, but don't. How did he get there without even making a sound? I was completely unprepared to see him so suddenly. And all of this, all the way to humiliate yourself? Of course you had to go straight for the kill with the jackfruit. Ugh. All right, Pops. Enough with your petty emotions. You have something more important on hand to do. And it's time to get back on track. Look on the bright side. At least I get to explore this mysterious little restaurant. I'll never have known of this pl a place like this otherwise. All these hidden nooks and dark corners. I would love to do a cover on this place someday. Whatever story is, it must be very rich. And it's definitely a place I'd love to explore on my own, even if it's not for work. So I'm going to make the most of what I have right now and just soak in the incredible atmosphere. Everything's so small and cozy in here. I stand corrected. Everything except for him. Oh, is there someone behind the counter? Boy, Alice. Rude. But he's kind of dimple when he smiles. Oh, oh, it's a little old lady. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> What's so funny? N -n nothing funny. Come on. Let's go. Okay. I can't see his face, but why does it feel like he's laughing? My usual seats up. Uh, my usual seats up the stairs. Oh. Uh, okay. Glasses. <laughs> she has such beauty eyes. Hmm. <laughs> These wooden stairs looks old. Is it safe to go up? Are you for real? Fine. Fine, I'll go first, chicken crap. I heard that. Dring, dring. Yellow Fred and Franz. Cut the crap, Freddy. Nobody cares about your stupid slogan. Listen. Be a dear and hook me up with that bookie friend of yours, will ya? I'm feeling lucky tonight. The boy brought a little lady over. Would you believe it? I didn't mean to doubt your ability, Stairs. I'm sure you're still nice and sturdy, but... Uh... Better me staring into his bum. Sorry, Tora. A girl's gotta protect herself. You'll survive. Then him staring into mine. Watch your head. 
that crap room in here are so freaking slow. I think I'm good. Not everyone's six feet tall, you know. Six and three inches. Six feet and three inches tall? What an accomplishment. You must be very proud of yourself. Sure. Come. Oh. That was a hard knock. Are you okay? Darn, I think I laid it on too thick. I'm so sorry. But it's all good for, for a good cause. Uh. Okay. Okay. All right, so here's my thought from episode 15. What happened? I don't remember if they ever, like, the many episodes that I did read uh, back then and where I stopped, I don't recall if they ever got into the, the reason why or what happened with them as children. Like, what did Tora and Quincy have to do to protect Giyu or Ronzo? You know, so, but to see him crying like that and to see Tora, this big old brick wall, tear up, it's kind of, it shocked me. Yeah, I, I don't remember it. And I guess I read this webtoon when it first came out and I think it came out in, I don't know, like 20, before, is it 2018, 19? I don't know. It's been years and I stopped because I been so hooked on it and i binge it and i hate waiting for episodes to come out each day uh and then they like you know the the writer would take breaks a lot and i hated it <laughs> so i waited this out until I, it has over a certain amount of episodes which is now a lot of them are out and for me to pick it back up again but yeah i just don't remember what happened that caused them to react that way so this is like a refresher for me and then, of course, for Poppy, she is so, she is very clumsy, but she's just so relatable. Like, she's a little awkward, but quirky and sweet. Like, I don't know, I love Poppy um, characteristics. Like, I just, I love it. You know, it's better than those girls who just like a know-it-all kind of deal. But it's just silly. It's just, I love reading Midnight Poppy Land. Anyways, if you guys enjoy the way I read and reacted to this webtoon, feel free to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, share this uh, video. Um, definitely would help me so much on on my goal of gaining 10,000 subscribers before end of 2024. But anyways, thank you so much for being here and supporting me. I'll catch you guys next time.